that we have today. What a beautiful smile. Eh? Hey, DJ, can I turn on with time? One, two, three. No. You, you like it? No. <laughs> Another scorcher here today. Um, I'm down at the spa area at the hotel. I've just booked myself the spa for Sunday just to use the canal or private pool because I first have to check out at 12 on Sunday. So I've just booked it for the afternoon. Well, I think you get two hours, but you can, can sometimes stay longer. Um, it's a lovely little pool, it really is. Um, lovely staff in there. Now, I'll just flick this round. So yeah, just in case you didn't know, if you come down these steps from the pool, this is the uh, back entrance to the beach. And you get the quicker way rather than going out the front of the, the hotel. So just hit your card there, and that's you. All right, so just takes you down the back here. Need to excuse my shaking hand. I don't have the, uh, the holder thing today with me. But yeah, we're just heading out because we've been to the pool again all day today. So just time to get some uh, sea air, and uh, we're going to go and try and get some mozzarella sticks from. Winchester, Winchester Bar. So once again, the beaches are packed and the promenades are quiet. <laughs> it's just too hot to walk about, folks. I know I've said that before, but it is. And I'm a walker and um, even I'm finding it really hot. Everyone's at the beach club today, look how cool. Just gonna get a quick bite to eat, something to drink. And then uh, head back to the pool, folks. Just stop here for an hour or so. And then head back about five, and it's another couple of hours. And so, yeah, so my walking um, has really been scuppered this trip, but it's been good. I've enjoyed the relaxation. Right, folks, shouldn't have had that. That was a steak baguette, and uh. The best mozzarella sticks ever. A guy on our YouTube said to go and try them. So no, I've been there before. Never tried mozzarella sticks. Oh, they're the best. Absolutely beautiful. I'm stuck now. I'm hot and bothered. Yeah, it's going to be a nine out of ten for the winters today. The only thing I let it down was the heat. There was no aircon in the hang, so I was absolutely scorching. Uh, we've got a visit from the uh, very good, very nice man. He came in, tried to take a picture of him. He always charges you, but anyway, I spoke to him just at the back here. You know, it's actually all right. Um, but yeah, just gonna walk slowly back to the pool and uh, just chill again. There's a few people been putting comments online and noticed about how quiet it is. And look, you can see, as I said before, how quiet it is. But it's just because everyone's on the beach and everyone's by the pool. It's only idiots that come out for a walk in this kind of climate. Now we used to have a bar, well we didn't used to have a bar, my friends used to have a bar down here. Um, where was it? I think it was just in in here somewhere. I think it was there. It was like a soul bar. It was really, really good, but it didn't last long, unfortunately. Right, I'm gonna stop speaking and get back to the pool. Not much content today, we'll try and get some stuff tonight. Uh, that's two days in a row I've just been lazing by the pool. Um, but you know what folks, I actually think I needed it. I think I've said before in my last videos that I never seem to relax when I'm on a holiday or I'm on a, some kind of working trip. I have to go visit hotels or resorts and that kind of stuff. And I like doing that, but it's nice just to chill. And that's two days now I've just let my body relax and I've just caught up in some sleep and just it's been really nice and that's what holidays are for that's what holidays are for so um it's been really nice so I'm gonna get the the free water now fill my jug up down some cold ice cold water put the kettle on and just sit up for about an hour until the sunset and we'll see you then
uh, trying to spook up this music and so on. Uh, there you go. You can actually see Lagomena tonight. Um, oh, it's hard to get that. There you go. Lagomena's there. You can see how all the sand's piled up here to stop the um, flooding in the minute or the waves coming in. A big trench. That used to be like this. Obviously to stop the bar flooding. The guy's catchphrase across the road is, oh my God, I love my job. So I'm back in the balcony. It was just too hot out tonight. I'm gonna stop saying that. Back for a coffee. I'm gonna watch the show. I think it's some Cuban show tonight, so we'll see what happens. Keeping it real, folks. Coffee, Lay's crisps, and the entertainment tonight. There's a hell of a fireworks show going on somewhere, folks. Actually, I'm going to put the mic on. Hang on one second. Yes, better, folks. Yeah, there was a hell of a fireworks show going on somewhere, but I can't quite see it. Must be behind the hotel. But I thought all the fireworks were banned at the minute because of the um, the fire situation here. So, um, yeah, somebody's gone against the law and uh, having a fireworks show, but I can't see it. I can hear it, but just can't see it. Let's see if he says it. Let's see if he says it. See you nice, but I suppose it's a catchphrase for them. Things are about quarter to twelve. There's still a fair few people sitting outside. I think it's just because it's nice and cool. Just sitting around the pool, just relaxing, just having a, a wee chat. It's very good. See, there's a lot of haze around this morning. You can see, folks, we're getting a lot of the uh, ash coming in at the minute. Um, the sky is very, mm, not misty, but this murky this morning. So the sense the wind's blowing some of the ash over here from the fires. So you can see it on the cars this morning. You can see it all on the bonnets and things. It's like ash everywhere. But you can see in the sky, very hazy up there. Hopefully we'll get a bit of wind and it'll blow it away. So good morning everybody. Good morning, buena dias, buena dias. Um, if you see the number 471 bus coming behind me, shout, it's behind you. Um, up early this morning, well not early, it's about quarter past nine or something. Um, the cleaners came in the room at ten to nine this morning, I was in the shower. Rude. So they don't normally come in until about half ten. Um, yeah, I got up early this morning to watch the sun rise, but the sun didn't really rise because of the um, smoke, which wasn't the best. Um, don't know if it is actually smoke or just haze, I think it did say, I did read that it's the 
remnants of the smoke blowing this way because obviously the cars are covered in ash this morning uh, so it's an ash cloud hopefully it'll blow away um later there's a 471 that's going the other way though um so yeah quick trip up to playa paraiso this morning just for a wee uh, wander around get some breakfast didn't have breakfast in the hotel this morning and uh see what the day brings football's on later so we'll go and watch liverpool if we can and then allegedly swim in the pool later on so this is a very lazy day to head up to Paraiso, I like Paraiso, um, that's where the hard rock hotel is. I want to have a wee donda um, around there, so come with me on my day out, on my morning out in Playa Paraiso. Once again, there's a reminder of the um, bus card that you need, the 10 plus. I've still got, say, about 26 euros in mind, so that'll keep me going this week and also in December as well. Rossa Centre here in Playa Paraiso and the bus journey is the number 471, 1 euro 75. Of course it's got up here 15 minutes, very quick. It's been a Saturday here, not much is open. Everything opens later on in Tenerife. I like back home, everything opens bang on 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock. Um, some new restaurants here since last time I was uh, up, nice pizza shop and a couple of Indians and that. We'll see a couple more around here. We'll try and get a place for a coffee uh, to start the day. And the Hard Rock Hotel is just uh, over there. And we've got the uh, banana plantations here, just as the woman switches the uh, cleaning thing on. <laughs> Loads of banana plantations, obviously, here in Tenerife. So it's a nice addition, this, to uh, Palaiso, because Palaiso was needing something like this to come to. Um, and it's, it's Again, it's an up-and-coming resort, and as soon as the, as the uh, Hard Rock Hotel moved in, things started to improve here. It was a very traditional, run-down resort, but now things are getting, money's getting spent, and uh, got big shopping centres getting built. There's new restaurants down the front, a new walkway, so it's good to see. It just shows you what a good um, chain of hotels can do. Open here, there's actually about four or five five-star hotels here now, so it's good to see. We're going to walk just a wee bit along the Millennium Path, just have a wee chill-out walk here in Paraiso, and I'll show you if anything's changed since last time I was here. It's been about a year, maybe, since I've been here. A year and a bit. Did I come here in December? I can't remember. So yeah, we're going to show you the Millennium, or well, part of the Millennium Walkway, which eventually will link you up to Kalsavaki. And um, you can actually walk between the two, but it's not an official path yet. Right, while we're here, folks, I'm not an official business, but uh, we'll have a look at the Rio Buena Vista Hotel, see if we can get in for a look. I've not actually been to this one before, but it is actually a nice uh, quality hotel. Tui Hotel. Like most hotels, you can get a lot of uh, mixtures of rooms. I'll see you staring at. Um, from your sea views, side sea views, pool views, shaded views. So, my tip is always pay a little bit extra to get a view, even if it's a pool view. Because see, sometimes you can be stuck for car park views, even in a five star hotel. We'll stop behind a tree so um always pay a little bit extra if you can to get a view folks so the hotel was extremely busy uh people just up having breakfast pool lady was busy so i think it's just one of these hotels where i think because it's location a lot of people come all inclusive and just don't leave so it's that kind of hotel very very busy this is the uh, millennium walkway the way i normally come from Sovaki. now this is the calmest i've actually seen paraiso Normally it's very stormy down here, but today, very calm. The Paraiso coastline. Right, that's the uh, Hard Rock Hotels behind me there. 
There's actually no breeze here today at all. It's very unusual for Paraiso. There's a little breeze up the hill there, but down the bottom here, it's so still. Very, very still and very hazy still. I've got a tree going around my head, look. Um, so another heat wave warning this weekend. 35 is gonna go up to today and tomorrow. And uh, next week's much the same. So staying very hot here over the next week or so. So once again, the promenades are very quiet. Everyone's at the uh, pools. The beaches aren't the best here. It's only one person on the beach. Uh, if you want the beaches, you have to go to different resorts. It's more just like a rocky coastline, this, and the uh, hotels. the imported sand like they do some of the other beaches and just made that a really nice golden sandy beach that would be a lovely little bay I wonder why they don't do that it's been like this for years they've done the, the top bit up but this bit's just been left so um, yeah if they've made all that all pure golden sand bond in a couple of other palm trees that would be a perfect little bay look how nice and clear that uh Water is beautiful. I was going to stop in that cafe up there that I filmed. A lovely little cafe, nice, beautiful views, um, but it's very busy. There wasn't really any tables. Well, there was tables, but they were kind of um, not the best. So I'll keep walking. We'll find someone else to uh, stop. So thank you for joining me on my allegedly little store here around the outskirts of Playa Paraiso. People always say, oh, I'm not going to Paraiso, but it's, you know, it's actually a lovely little place. Very chilled out, um, and you can see, go up to Slovakia, which I love. Um, I'll go there in December as well. I'll try and switch it up a little bit. Um, but there's enough to do here, just for, again, a nice little chill out resort. There's a wee town centre around the corner here as well. Right, now over there, where it says that Roca Negra sign, but just up a bit there. That's why I've got the perfect pint in there. It was an ice cold glass with ice floating in it. It was a nice view, there was a breeze. So I've got the perfect 10 out of 10. Don't think it opens till like later on. But there's some nice little bars around that little corner, nice little chill out bars around that little bit there. And then away in the distance there, you've got, you make out as Americas in the haze. See the towers of the Park Santiago in the middle there? And then between that and the bay, just behind that Rocca Negra sign and maybe about a mile along the road, it's one of my other favourite little places called El Puertito, where I spent the last summer, the summer before, jumping in out of the waves and the rock pools and things. It's beautiful. I'll put a couple of pictures on here because I'm not going to get there today. I actually need a car and uh, we don't have a car this time, so... But El Petito just around the bay there is beautiful. Right, up in there we have another nice hotel, the Rock Nirvana Gran. Beautiful hotel. And across the way there we've got the Atlantic Sunset the H10 Hotel. So that's uh, quite a new one. Well, it's been open three or four years, maybe longer. Watch it getting built. And then the hard rock is hanging in there in the middle. In between the two, in between the trees there. Very tropical. So next Sunday, um, there's a big open day at the Montrose uh, Heritage Centre. And we've been invited along to maybe go in some of these gyrocopters, like the one you just saw there. The guy said we can get a free shot because our granddad's had um, obviously got his association with the airfield. Um, but I think I'm too heavy to go on one of them. Maybe we'll get jagging it. Then he's scared of heights. He's scared of yeah, everything. So just it doesn't actually open until uh, one o'clock, that uh, nice little bar. So if we're still here at one o'clock, I'm going for a wee uh, pint. But if not, uh, there's always next time.
That's a lot of nice little bay down there. That's the Hard Rock Bay. Again, no sand, it's just rock. So uh, again, maybe they could invest in some uh, nice sand for that area. It's actually quite tropical, isn't it? You look at the, uh, well, the palm trees and things here. Heights are. That's the Panoramic Heights Hotel there, right at the back. That's how high up the hill you are, folks. Oh, these people are still getting questioned. Don't know what's going on. Right, the money's away, but now they're stopping people in the street. I think it must just be a drugs test. The dog's now stopping people. Sniffing those, those two guys have been stopped. So the police are just picking random people to uh, to stop and search for drugs. So all I've heard today is Northern Voices going down beach. We're coming down beach, coming down watch football. <laughs> is that nothing? Let's go to Sky Bar, watch football. Can't even do Northern accent. From Leeds, Leeds. Yeah, so we're going to go down here at Sky Bar and uh, watch the Liverpool games at the Harbour here. This is uh, five minutes from my hotel. Here we go. Football and then uh basketball. Oh yes get in. Do you know what folks it is so nice when you come back into an air conditioned room oh god even my ice cream melted there on the way up the road <laughs> anyway I didn't go to the sky bar sky bar was too busy so um ended up in a place called kill coins like an irish pub actually just around the corner from the hotel we're really nice really really nice never actually been there before but it was busy but not too busy but there's people in there having like big steaks and burgers like excellent food so i might try that one next time but oh i was laughing at um there's a thing Man United's on and then Newcastle's on tonight and there's a Newcastle family obviously just arrived first day here with the Newcastle um, football tops on absolutely sweating <laughs> it was a shame on them um, but yeah that's on I think they're on at 8 Man United's on next but yeah 3-1 Liverpool so that was a good result despite a, despite a ropey start oh, I'm just not going to say it I'm not going to say it oh, I just can't wait to get into the pool Let's go and check out the, uh, the pool situation. Right, I should be in there in five minutes time, folks. Can't wait. And I think actually there's a DJ on between six and nine, I think I've seen somewhere, so that'll be quite nice. Right, so lovely little breeze getting up now. So my sunbed of the day, well for the last two hours, was today's one was in the corner there. That one there, that's where I was for a couple of hours, it was lovely. So just pouring them out in the, in the pool. So this is the last night folks, the last night with this view. Oh, it's a sad time. This room has been ace though folks, just for people watching and uh, just sitting and watching the world go by, you can see everything from here. 
all the people walking underneath here, there's some of the bars, the hotel across the road, obviously it's kept me entertained all week. The pool, the sea, the mountains, it's been brilliant. So I'd have this room again, definitely. Um, they could guarantee you a, a room number, 384. Always put your room number on a video so you can remember, because you'll forget when you go. 384, this one is. Side sea view. Again, and there's more fireworks going off. It's because it's my final night. I'm trying this in cinematic today as I'm still trying to get used to this cinematic but uh, let's see what this looks like so it's the last day so I've had to go and put my suitcase down there um, and the jet tube reps were there to take it away already to the airport it's only half eight but uh, my flight's not until quarter past nine tonight and I get picked up about half between half five and six so you've had to put your suitcase down just keep your hand luggage and you don't see your luggage again until hopefully you get to Edinburgh. So it's a really good service because you have to bust about at the airports. So there's nothing worse at a hot airport uh, with all your luggage and the queues. You just go straight to security. So there's only certain hotels will do that service. So it's a really, really good service. I've got a bit more ash cloud this morning. The fires are still raging up north. Um, more people evacuated. But today's the big, big World Cup final. England versus España. So there's English flags and Spanish flags everywhere this morning. Well, and yesterday as well. So I expected the whole place to be fairly empty at 11 o'clock. I've got the spa pool booked for 12. So I'll see the first half of the game. And where the spa is, you can actually look into the Moonlight Bar. So I'll keep up to date with the, the scores. So yeah, just a couple of hours by the pool today. Um, well, two or three hours just chilling. I'm just gonna chill in the room for the first uh, couple of hours as well, just make sure everything's sorted. And just have yet another relaxing day. Sorry about the content folks, it's just, as I said, as I keep saying, it's too bloody hot to walk. Um, so hopefully when I'm back in December I'll do a lot more walking. See the first three days was fine but it totally killed me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and so with the, the ash in the air at the minute, it's no good for the lungs. Not good for the lungs. But anyway, I'll see what I can film today. It won't be much content today, it'll just be me lying by the spa pool. Um, and then going home. So, that's it. Right, just a quick observation this morning. I've just been watching people lying by the pool. And there must be a lot of ash on uh, the sunbeds because everyone's been kind of wiping the sunbeds the same kind of way with the towels. So I presume that this must be ash. We'll find out while we're down there just shortly. Right, thank you, room 384. It is time to depart. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And uh, let's go. That's what I've got to carry about today. That's my hand luggage. And that's all the kind of stuff for the pool. But I'll get rid of most of that before I go anyway. So uh, so say thanks again, room 384. It's been a blast. Adios. So all the sunbeds have got ash on them, folks. Right, folks, this is the uh, spa pool. You pay 20 euros for a wee session of a few hours. So I'm gonna dive right in there, it's a heated pool. I'm sitting here in the spa, folks, I'm just trying to speak quietly. There's actually ash falling from the sky still. It's landing on me. It's bizarre. Not like loads, but just every kind of, so often, you get this flurry of uh, ash. Right, here's a view from the uh, other side of the sunbed. Looking out to sea. There's the uh, moonlight bar. Where you can hear all the cheering and booing going on for the football. I'd love to stay here and just watch this view, but it's time to go to the airport. Yeah, that's the queues there. If you haven't um, already checked in like me at the hotel, I can just walk straight through. So I see that's all the jet to check in there. And then this is the new security bit. You just need your passports and away you go. And your boarding passes, obviously. 
a new bit of the terminal now it's got a couple of shops in it cafe drinks and um sweetie shop so it's looking a bit better Right folks, that's me back home. I forgot to end the video as normal. But anyway, thank you so much for watching my last uh, few clips of Tenerife. I um, hope you weren't too bored. I did moan a lot about the heat, didn't I, really, when I watched them back. <laughs> uh, but August and September is actually a really hot time to go. Tenerife's hot all year round, but uh, August, September is a really warm time to go. So it's difficult to uh, walk about. It is mainly just for relaxing by the pool and on the beach drinking lots of cold beer and just enjoying yourself basically so uh, uh, join me again in December while well, we're back in Tenerife to do more walk a lot more walking this time because it's uh, uh, easier to to well more comfortable to to walk about and uh, in the meantime watch my videos on here over the next few weeks and hopefully we'll find something interesting to show you but thanks so much once again folks do appreciate it and uh, if you're going to Tenerife have a fantastic holiday